Okay, on today's video, we're going to talk about a what I call a buyer's guide strategy, running paid uh, advertising, PPC advertising, to advertise a quote-unquote buyer's guide. To set yourself up to make a lot more money. Uh, from your PPC campaigns and to be more specific to get more out of the market share that's available in your market. And so in other words, um, if you're running a PPC campaign now and you just can't find any more profitable customers or really just if you spend more, the costs are going up too much to get a customer or they're just, a, you don't you know, a local market or in a very small niche market, you don't seem to, there's just not very many more qualified buyers in your market. This strategy right here that I'm going to go over to you in this video that I use all the time uh, is going to be able to widen your market uh, out of what is available to, you know, basically be able to be available online for you to get at an affordable rate by upwards of four times what you have it right now. If you're not doing this, of course, now, there's no reason why you can't do this uh, on your very first campaign. It's a little bit more of an advanced strategy, and so and at least you have this strategy in your back pocket if you're not quite also um, really getting what you want out of it in terms of a number of bit no, amount of business coming in at the rate or cost that you want to pay for that business. Or in other words, your bids or what you're telling Google, uh, you know, ultimately here because this is related to. Um, mostly related to Google search I'm referring to here, but um, and Google Display Network could also apply to Facebook, LinkedIn, so on and so forth, that uh, it, it goes to create one big package of how to run your PPC ads, which you should always use when you're thinking about running PPC in order to make the whole thing better uh, for yourself, quite, you know, considerably better. So anyway, on today's video, I like I usually have on my videos here, I have a list of things that I want to cover in terms of what you need to know about the buyer's guide strategy, what's involved with it, how it works, what kind of results can you ultimately see from it, and where those results of expanding your market share by 4x is actually going to come from, and uh, how to ultimately get it uh, implemented and rolled out for your business, and all the variables uh, and do's and don'ts tied to that. So anyway, the first thing on the list here to mention is uh, the so there's different kinds of content. Uh, there's buyer's content, as they call it, uh, that I'm coining here, uh, versus information-only content. And so what this actually is, is ultimately, if you put yourself in the consumer's shoes here for a moment, if you're going to go buy a, you know, a, a um, let's say you're going to go buy, hire a cleaning service, right? What, you know, in terms of, you can, t you know, like, type in stuff like, should I buy a, or should I hire a cleaning service? That would be more of like an informational only query, and you're looking for content that talks about cleaning services, the different aspects of them, the good and the bad sides to it, so on and so forth. Um, you know, in reference to that, and that person may or may not in the future of course, actually go ahead and go forward to buy cleaning services from a cleaning company in that area. Uh, they may very well do that, but a lot of times, mostly they do not. A lot of that traffic is just kind of, if you were to pay for that traffic, it's kind of junk traffic. Uh, you know, of course, as I've said in many times in other videos, all traffic in your niche has a price, and it's just a matter of finding out what the value of what that traffic is, sucking at all, you know, that traffic up and then assessing its value, deciding what you're willing to pay for it, you know, dialing in your bids and can do that with tracking uh, of your campaigns and then you get what you can from all different areas and aspects of the PPC advertising that's out for you in your market. But in, in comparison to that, you know, going back to the cleaning service market again, the, uh, the buyer's term would be like how to hire the best cleaning service or how not to get ripped off when hiring a cleaning service, uh, or what are the best cleaning services in Chicago, that kind of thing. So totally different than should I hire a cleaning service. That's what I call the buyer's terms. And so, you know, for the most part, what this buyer's guide strategy is all about, or is going to be about uh, targeting the buyer's traffic because the ratio of people who actually go on and buy the service versus the informational you know, queries 
and seekers of looking for information only is so much higher that for the most part, that's if you're just starting out to run any kind of other display advertising uh, and not search engine advertising, that's where you should start out because that's what by far is the most productive and, and matters the most ultimately. Now, of course, there's a lot less content and searches out there related to this. You would think there'd be more content related to this out there, but usually in most niches there's not, which leaves a great opening for you to come and serve that person so that you that eventual business those people searching for or searching for that they're actually going to you by default most of the time versus the other competition in your local area or other companies in your space or whatever the uh, you know from what I found and a little bit of auditing that I have and I ran a lot of these different campaigns about five to one of the people who search for terms like uh, what's the best cleaning company in Chicago or uh, how to hire a cleaning company the right way. In other words, out of every five people who search for that, about one person will go on to buy if they're searching for you know, sp very specific terms like that. And so therefore, there's a huge opportunity to, if you can get in front of those people and build your credibility up with the user, then that ultimately you'll be able to, before anybody else really gets a shot at them, you made yourself the default option. That's what this whole strategy here is about. As far as the information only seekers, that might be one in a hundred. There's a lot more of that traffic out there. You know, there's other videos I can talk about how to monetize that. Again, it's just about bidding way less and, um, you know, ultimately 20 times less, you might be able to pay, be willing to pay a dime for a click like this versus you'll pay a dollar or so for this kind of click, from this kind of level of buyer. Uh, depends on you know, your market based upon what new co traffic costs to come in and so on and so forth. I won't get in all the uh, dynamics there, but uh, in general, what you're gonna do is you're gonna target these b buyers here because you know one in every five is gonna go on to purchase from your market and you want it to be you. And ultimately, if you get in that buyer, like I said early, you're giving yourself a way to like buy default and get ahead of everybody else so that in terms of the market share out there, you're giving yourself a way better chance to get every person, at least that search for this stuff. And you know, let's say out as a whole, out of the people that you know, it varies for every market, it may be one in two people do some sort of research before they buy. Like if you're buying a car, it really would be 50%. You know, if you're buying a broom, maybe it's very like one percent or something like that. And the higher the price point of the product, so it depends on the really. How, how much research people do and you know and that a lot of times is directly related to the price that you're going to be able to increase your market share by using this method but anyway those are the general kind of you know things associated with you know marketing and using PPC traffic to get people who are looking for information to come to you to buy to expand your market share so anyway the second thing on my list here going forward um, People read the domains before clicking on the search ad. So what you're trying to do here, the whole kind of funnel, the way that this works now, is if somebody's looking for what's the right, what's the best way to hire a cleaning company for my business, let's say they were more specific here, that um, you want to get out in front of that buyer because again, one in five will go on to be a customer at some point, whether that's tomorrow or the, you know, a month from now, but not a year from now probably. So that when that buyer reads that content or whatever you get in front of them with it, they're so impressed that their your brand sticks in their mind. You're not even shooting for a sale there, not at all. You can, not to say exclude you from doing that, the number one goal is just to impress the user at that point. So, so that one in five that actually do go on and buy at some point in time, probably still go to Google search and look for a company because they still are inconclusive on who to buy. Uh, so part of the people that at that point in time when they go to hire, they'll just call you directly because you can have your branding all over the information. And I, by the way, when you create content like that, you won't want branding prominently up top. You'll just want to make it look unbranded and then the branding down below once you've already earned the right to get the respect from you. But so you'll get some people that will go through automatically and then the rest who go to Google search and forgot about you, forgot the articles they ran, they're like, Dang it, I still got to hire somebody to clean our office here. And then they go to Google search, they find your ad also there, which you're running, 
have been running or you're going to now start to run with this because this gives you the capability not only to get more market share but to make the search traffic for people that are searching for commercial cleaning services convert and are more, that much more profitable um, you know, ultimately it will be two to three times more profitable if somebody has name recognition of you before they see your ad there on google search and so when you market to them before on these buyer terms you're not only giving yourself an opportunity when those people that do search to buy from you at two to three times the rate but of course you're going to get side traffic just from the people who read the article and so you're you, you want to you're setting everything up to market to people as soon as to before somebody actually makes the search which is the buyer's term not the information term show them your information impress them and then just sit back and wait for them to search for the service later on for the you know half or so that still do and just be there have them because what they'll do when going back to what i mentioned here they read the domains people don't realize this they read the domains and by the way if your domain sounds kind of scammy or like it's too seo ish uh people skip over that stuff if your stuff looks branded they if it, it gives it more trust and they'll click on it at a higher rate but that's a side note when you know if you combine those best practices with the fact that they all have seen your brand before and they're deciding which of those four ads to click on they now click on you at two to three times the rate than they were before um, or whatever it might be upwards of five times you'll make two to three times more on the clicks themselves at, uh, that actually click because the quality score is going to go through the roof on your campaigns when doing that and um, of course when the people that get to the site they're also going to buy at a, a higher rate as well uh, because they now have your trust as well so they're more likely to click and they're more likely to convert when they hit the page probably you know twice the conversion rate you know somebody who's seen your brand before and then noticed it and clicked on it than somebody who did not let alone the two to three times more people who are uh, going to click through that ad so you can see how getting now that I explain all this how you're going to be able to expand your market share by a 4x a ton more people are going to start clicking on your search ads because the one in five people that bought looked for buyers information at some point before they purchased you're going to be there you're now going to get clicked at a much higher rate you're going to convert at a much higher rate you're going to get spin off traffic directly from the content you show to them in those particular situations and all works on you know much much this is standard stuff uh numbers works even better if nobody else has any decent information about how to pick the best commercial cleaning company for your needs and you and so what you should always be shooting for also on top of this so you do get the huge 4x increase in market share if you will from it is to ha by default have the best content that answers that user's question in your market on how to select the you know if you're going to buy in other words who to choose so that you're not getting ripped off and you get the best value for your money have the best content there because it's worth it and so anyway going forward what is the type of content that works for that so you know ultimately uh everything you need to know guides uh everything you need to know about hiring a commercial cleaning company um you know everything you need to know about hiring a commercial cleaning company from a 30-year insider of the industry or um, commercial cleaning company buyer's guide or you know so on and so forth so the um, and again you everything you, what you do there should be considerably not now it has to be 10 times better I don't think but considerably better than any other content that's out there so you'll look at all the other content and know that's the benchmark and you're going to want to outdo it by several fold if you can which is usually not hard in 90 percent of markets because people don't really think about this stuff they just want to go after people who are ready to buy but they don't think about that one in five people who search for something like that or the people who search they're going to go on to buy it like 20 percent of the time after that at some point and capitalize on that small sliver of traffic that you could just be getting you know a lion's share of if you will um, basically out of those one in five basically almost all of them if you will so you create the content like that and you 
and uh, with that said, moving forward here, you take that content, and once you know you've got better content to advertise now, you know now your end goal is to figure out where is this buyer, you know, at, if you will, the buyer looking for buyer, how to be a, how to become a, a successful, happy customer or client in a certain product niche or space content that you're going to then have to have that information packaged up into an ad and then that ad in front of all the people searching for that information. Now, how do we do that? In other words, where to advertise. So I recommend actually doing it in two different places. You have uh, any videos. So what you're going to hand select a list. Now, some people, they definitely may tell you to do like general targeting, like target all pages related to commercial cleaning, you know, how to hire a commercial cleaning company. No. Uh, you're going to go to YouTube. You're going to roll up your sleeves a little bit. You're going to find all the videos related to that exact thing. And you're going to make a list in a notepad file or what have you. And then you're going to go Google, you know, commercial cleaning company buyer's advice. And you're going to go and do, first of all, the keyword research. And then you're going to search all those terms in Google. And you're going to then click through and find all the pages that show up for those search terms on the first page and the ones of which that have ads on them and then you're going to write them in a list and then once you have all those terms covered you go and search all those things on YouTube and then you're going to find all the videos that have that cover the same topics that you can find once you've done that you'll create a, a, a display network campaign that targets all the websites and a video campaign that targets all the videos and with that you're going to target those those list of sites that you've collected in what is called the placements menu. So and again, instead of just targeting a, a broad topic, you're targeting, you're laser targeting the exact articles that you know most people, let's say 80% if they're searching for this, that they're ultimately going to find because all the terms, you found all the terms, they're all on the first page there, or they go to YouTube, which is the second biggest search engine, and they're searching there, and you've got every single video, then you have an ad that pushes people to a landing page that has your buyer's guide. You don't, my personal thing is you don't have to do an email collection when you send people to your buyer's guide. Just have it there. Have it great content. Good content sells itself. You can have it at the bottom. If you have any questions, uh, you can give me a call or email. I can gladly help you decide which is best for your needs. Otherwise, good, you know, good luck to you, something like that. Um, and so though you'll, you'll create a banner ad so that on those pages you've selected, and now you're going to be able to target one by one as a group, though, uh, in your Google Display Network campaign, you are going to have a banner ad there that says pretty much exactly what the title of your content is so there's no confusion. And given this is exactly what they're looking for, and a lot of times the content's crappier, you're just creating a magnet for the person that's already there looking for the type of content you want to just go directly to your page. And when you do, do that, your click-through rate on your ads are going to be so high that your cost per click is going to be way cheaper. And whereas you probably can spend a dollar a click for those people, reality is probably you'll spend 20 cents a click because your click-through rate is up so high because your content you know, title is on the proper topic and it, you've tested that out. Um, so literally, in other words, you can have everything you need to know about hiring a commercial cleaning company as a top, the title of your, you know, or, or the topic of your content that you're going to send people to. It's just you send them to a, a sub page of your website that has that page there. Right up at the top, I, like I said before, it's not too commercial. There's no logos or anything. And then they get to the bottom, they'll see all that. So you get exactly what you came for right away. Um, without any roadblocks there. And then your ad says everything you need to know about hiring a commercial uh, cleaning company as well. So when they see the ad there and they're on the site that has a crappy article about hiring commercial cleaning companies that isn't very good, you're always there 100% of the time, which is not impossible to do as long as you're bidding enough, which you don't have to bid that aggressively over time because you're going to have high click-through rates. You're going to then be able to Google want to show your ad all the time to those people because it's helping them. Google wants to show the stuff that helps their users the most so they get addicted to clicking on the ads or you know, learn that clicking on ads is good. 
And uh, so you'll show up on all those articles then, and then moving forward, every single time someone hits one of those pages that you know are in the total possibilities list for people to actually land on, your ad is there every single time. And the same thing with the video, you'll do actually uh, in-stream ads so that when people are watching those videos, you have a short video uh, right away that says, you don't have to fancy it up, real simple video. Everything you know, need to know about hiring a commercial cl cleaning company, all in one place. They know what it is, they're interested, they click on it. They go to your page again, so you're driving in all the traffic you possibly can from those type of searches now to your page. And um, for if you want extra credit on this, of course, when they get to the bottom of the page, like I said, you can have your contact information as a person they can get a hold of right away. You can do monitoring software if it's a web page. You can actually see it in real time when somebody gets to the bottom of the page and you can do live chat. There's a number of things that you can do there um, to be able to kick up you know, the, the responsiveness and the productivity of a campaign like this. But uh, that in general kind of spells out um, you know, what goes on. You, you set up a ad to show up on every one of these buyer's term, term pages so that when people later on go ahead and search you later on, you're able to you know, get two to three times the click through rate on your ad that you had before opening up a lot more market than you could have had otherwise uh, with no name recognition when people search. And then also convert at probably two to three times, you know, a couple, uh, 2x probably for sure in terms of the people that get there. So you have a 4x increase in your market share from your search campaigns, let alone that you're running, let alone you're gonna get a bunch of those people who read the article and call you right away. Potentially, um, you know, it varies, half of the people who you're gonna get will just call you. Um, if you do your call to action on the bottom part of your content well enough, you look friendly, there's a headshot there. Um, you are offering free expert advice, no strings attached, and you look like a credible industry source to, so that you can give them free consulting for 15 minutes, whatever. Um, and then half of them potentially then you're gonna then pick up from the people who then search later on and now click on your ads on Google at a much, much, high, and respond at a much, much, you know, 4X higher rate than you had before. So that's where the 4X market share increase comes from. By creating a, a buyer's guide pre-marketing strategy, we're gonna market to people before they decide to buy, very close to when they decide to buy, are close enough that if you're there, you wanna be there not only a majority of the time, but every single time that you are there, it's profitable to you. So you wanna exploit every one of those opportunities you possibly can in your market. So anyway, in general, that is the pre-marketing buyer's guide strategy that's gonna open up your market share Forex, what you have right now at the moment, and do it in a profitable way. Um, ultimately, and in the end, probably will get you an even higher ROI than you had before on top of the Forex increase in your market share. So if you're struggling for clicks or market share right now, or potentially just also want a little bit higher, uh, higher ROI, you can also try this out for yourself. Um, you know, I hope you enjoyed this video. I have tons of other videos just like this on this channel about PPC strategy from a 15 year PPC strategy expert and the strategies I use for our guaranteed PPC clients here at the firm. Uh, you, you should uh, definitely subscribe and you can learn a lot from my channel. You can also go to guaranteedppc.com slash blog. I have step-by-step -step instructions that go over the exact strategies I use. If you want a little bit more detailed advice on how to set up PPC campaigns that'll get your results every single you, you, uh, time you try them. And then they're outside the box strategies like this that nobody else is using, which therefore get you the results every time. And of course, if you have a question, anything about doing this pre-marketing um, buyer's guide strategy here to expand your market share and your ROI, leave a comment down below. I'll be able to comment on your creative, anything like that that you have or anything I did not discuss that was a question in your mind as I discussed this. Um, to, do, to, to ultimately help, help you do this for your firm. So anyway, uh, good luck to you and um, enjoy your